Hey everybody, we're doing another Pokemon tier list. This time, we're doing all of the starters. We did Gen 9, but now I'm like, you know what? I really like the Gen 9 starters, but how does it compare to the rest of the starters that came before it? So, let's go ahead and get started. And man, this is going to be hard because I genuinely think usually Pokemon has a really good record of the first stage starters. There's not many that I actually dislike. And even the ones that I dislike, I don't dislike that badly. So this is going to be a struggle because you guys know my tier list that I do not like sticking everything up in S tier and having a small trickle down and having like nothing in D and F. I don't play that game. There's got to be something in D and there's got to be an F. And everything you do, there's got to be a bell curve. You know, there is a worst, there is a best. And there is like a happy medium. So, oh, it's going to be hard, but... Let's go ahead and start with maybe the obvious worst, in my opinion. And I know some of you are going to be mad at me, but I I think those two are an F. I I think, like, that's a... it. I think that's... I have to do that, right? I think I have to do that. But now maybe let's go to the other end. What are my S tiers? It's, wow, this is hard. Because honestly, I didn't give it much thought before coming in, because I'm like, man... How hard can this be, right? And also, this I do have to say this. The rankings of the starters have nothing to do with its second and third evolutions. Because that's a whole different story. This is simply the first stage evolution and it's designed. Nothing that comes after. Because like, you know, Chik yeah, actually I don't even I don't even like Chikori's other evolutions, so um so I do have to say that. Um, then at that point I'd probably say I think Piplup is an S tier for me. I love Piplup. And I think Fennekin is an S tier. As far, again, I do not like Fennekin's third, it's third evolution, but I do like its starter. The starter, I think, is really, really great. Um, I'm going to put Oshawott over at D. I think it has a weird looking head. Um... I gotta find, like, what's, like, a happy medium, right? Like, what is truly, truly neutral? I think, in that sense, the neutral would have to be Gen 1, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and say Bulbasaur is probably a C. Charmander is probably an A. So, but do I... Do I do that, though? That feels, like, that feels almost gross. You know what? We're gonna put both of those in A. Maybe we'll move them down later. Mmm, Cyndaquil. People are going to get mad at me. I don't like Cyndaquil. I'm going to put that at D. I don't... I don't know. It just seems weird. The, the flames are weird. Weird effect. Um, Chimchar... B. Mudkip. B. Torchic. D. Another one where I'm like, I really like Blaziken, but I'm not really a big fan of Torchic, to be honest. Rowlet, um, another one where I really like the last evolution, but I'm not a big fan of its of it of its first form. I think Froakie is probably in B. Ooh, it's so hard. Tot Totodile, probably B. I think Poplio, probably B. Litten? Ooh, I can't do that. It's gotta be B, right? I think let's go ahead and put Tepic over at C. We'll go ahead and put that at mm, no, it's gotta be C. Probably oh see so half of these could probably go in A. Hmm. Let's just Chespin at C. I feel so gross though. No, Chespin's gotta be B. It's just so much harder than I thought it would be. Turtwig. I'll put Turtwig at C. Snivy at D. Trico at C. Now we get down to the Gen 9. Now where do the Gen 9 compare? I think... This has got to go in A tier. I think the Duck goes in C. I think both of those go in C. Yeah. Now, of course, we have to do a little bit of rearranging, as I always do, because I can never stick to the tier list. Again, got to get a nice bell curve going. Got to drag a few up and a few down. So I think 
I'm gonna drag Oshawott down. Oh, maybe Torchic down. And we're gonna go ahead and move Bulbasaur and Rowl it down. Oh, so many people are gonna get mad at that. I'm gonna go ahead and move up. I think Charmander. Oh, is that fair? And then we move up, probably Mudkip. And Froakie? Hmm. See, but at that point, I think... We gotta get the bell curve. We gotta get the bell curve. Let's see, how fair is it? We need to bring one more up. Let's bring Torchic back up. And I think, since I said earlier that I think, generally, I think I've been pretty impressed by the starters overall. Let's bring one more up to B. And I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and probably move up. I think that, I think that's a decent tier list. I think it's controversial based upon what they evolve into. But I think overall, I think that's what I would have. Now, let's play a little game. Let's maybe play, let's arrange these depending on their final evolutions. How about that? Just like a fun little game. And I'm going to do it very quickly because it's technically not part of the video here. If we're talking about final evolutions. Oh, you guys are going to get so mad. Let's go ahead and add a row below. Let's make it an F tier. Okay. Uh, final evolution of Bulbasaur F. Chikorita F. Cyndaquil D. I'm going to put that at F. I'm going to put that at maybe C. A. S. S. A. D. S. Probably A. Eh, C. B. Probably F. B. C, F, B, A, A, B, C, B, B, and C. I think if we're talking about their final evolutions, I think this is how I would tier them personally. A couple of these could be probably higher. I think probably Charizard could be higher. Probably Mudkip could be higher. I think a couple of these could be even lower. Like I think maybe all of the D could be an F. I think maybe Fue Coco could probably be down there too. But, mm, yeah. Alright, well, hey. We had some fun, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think differently, if you agree. I think I had a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching.